It was always difficult at the start of a new generation of car and with the Gen 3 car there's been a lot of things to learn. The expectations definitely were a lot higher going into the start of the championship. It's definitely not ideal to um, not be super competitive. You know, everyone's working extremely hard to make it better and to get back to the front where they belong. I don't expect us to, to be on top from one race to another one. I think it's a process that will take a bit of time. But uh, of course, I wouldn't be unhappy if uh, we find a, a magic solution and that uh, we can win uh, straight away. When the, the lights go out, it's uh, actually quite calm. I'm not thinking about anything, but uh, you know, trying to react as quick as possible. I'm in my zone. Oh, that was so committed. So jean eric Verne is through to the semi-finals. This is a really, really tight one. Verne across the line, but Evans is on pole position for Jaguar. We're all competitive. We've all been racing a long time, and uh, yeah, we all want to win. The first international motor race in India for a decade. We go green in Hyderabad. This DS Penske going quickly. Buemi leads Vern in second, and now there's a huge gap back to Nick Cassidy. jean eric Vern to the inside of Sebastian Buemi. What a race this is turning into here in Hyderabad. So now it's Vern versus Cassidy. Vern versus the Envisions for victory in Hyderabad. Here we go, across the line to start the last lap of the Hyderabad E Prix. Vern holds it. One of the most remarkable Formula E races in a long time. And Fern takes the checkered flag and wins in Hyderabad yeah. in unbelievable fashion. Yeah. Wow, wow, well done. Brilliant drive, John. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant drive, man. Well done, well done, everybody. When you win a race, it's a fantastic feeling. It's, it's what we all go racing for. So Jean-Eric Verne, the winner of the Hyderabad E-Prix. What a brilliant drive that was